Hello, I'm K2U Living Meteorologist Chris Ramirez with a Tropics update. Here is the latest outlook from the National Hurricane Center as of the 1 p.m. advisory. This is being recorded on Saturday. We are seeing a few areas of concern. They now up that uh, area of concern out in the middle of the Atlantic to a 40%. It was at a 30% this morning. They're also keeping that area in the Caribbean, which is what we're looking at at a 60% chance of development within the next seven days. This has remained unchanged from what we were seeing this morning. The change that we're seeing is that this area of concern, this orange shape has shifted off towards the east a bit away from Houston. So that's some good news for us here across Southeast Texas. There's going to be a couple of weather features in the coming weeks that could keep all of that tropical activity out towards the east. But we're seeing some of that activity ramp up just a bit, especially out in the Caribbean. So definitely in Central America, you're able to see that uh, area of convection uh, sort of making more of a northwesterly uh, track there as we look at the situation, but still very disorganized, not really seeing uh, a formation of a low pressure system. So that's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on that low pressure system to become organized and we're likely expecting to still continue to see that as we head into the middle of next week. Likely on Wednesday is when we could see that low uh, move into uh, the Gulf of Mexico. So as we look at future track, this is showing the GFS model and we're only taking it out to Wednesday. We are going to see a couple of features here across Southeast Texas. Models are hinting around that we could be looking at a frontal system that is going to be moving through by Wednesday into Thursday. So that low likely to become organized by Wednesday, but there's still a lot of concern or a lot of uncertainty uh, involving this system in the coming days because we technically don't have a system yet. So there's a lot of uh, videos floating around social media showing a particular one weather model. Uh, just keep in mind that uh, we are now seeing the GFS and European model come into more of an agreement that this could potentially head into May maybe Mississippi, Florida or uh, Alabama going into the coming days. But of course, that could definitely change uh, as we head into the next 48 hours. This time of year, it's not uncommon for storms to form and move into the Gulf of Mexico as we are ending October or actually ending September and then beginning in October. We have that Central American gyre that usually is a area of unsettled weather across Central America that usually occurs late spring and early fall and and that system occasionally can spin up into storm formation in terms of the tropics. It can send tropical storms and hurricanes our way in the coming days. So looking at September development areas. So for this time of year, uh, we usually see uh, storms take more of a northeasterly track into the northwestern or northeastern Gulf of Mexico or more so just off the east coast of the US. But like I said, yeah, we've had Hurricane Ike that happened in the later September uh, month there. But looking at history, we are past the peak of hurricane season. We're still technically in the busy part of hurricane season as we end October uh, in September, but uh, we are not really expecting to be out of the woods at least until November 30th. Of course, that latest storm to ever impact Southeast Texas has been back in 1989 when Hurricane Jerry uh, moved, made landfall in Galveston as a category one hurricane. So not uncommon for storms to be as late as October. So we still have to be on guard in terms of the tropics, especially in the coming days. So looking at our Atlantic Basin names, we've already scratched off Gordon. Our next named storm would be Helene that would be definitely uh, moving. Uh, that would be if that storm becomes name, it would take on the name Helene, not even really halfway through the alphabetic list there as we look at the next situation. So busy part of hurricane season still in place across Southeast Texas. Two thirds of that activity happening between now and October. So definitely watch the forecast every day. At least check it twice a day as we are seeing some uh, up, lots of updates from the National Hurricane Center involving that area concern out in the Caribbean. So for our weather pattern, we're just going to remain hot, humid and muggy for the next several days. We are ringing in the first day of fall on Sunday and looking at our daily humidity forecast. We're not expecting drier conditions in place. That's good indication that we're not expecting any cold fronts. So usually when we get cold fronts, it brings a drier air. So 
not expecting that. We're just going to remain warm and muggy at least through the next few days here across Southeast Texas. However, there is going to be a low pressure system that might bring a few showers by next week. So for the rest of today, high temps in the mid to low 90s. We are expecting uh, temps to be about 95 in Katy, 96 in Navasota. Just hot conditions with those feels like temps ranging between 101 to 102 degrees because of the humid conditions. So feeling still much like summer here across the Houston area. So it's always a reminder wear that sunscreen, find shade and stay hydrated. If you plan to spend time outdoors, it's unfortunate that I have to be talking about this as late as September, but just keep in mind that we're still dealing with warm and humid conditions. Overnight lows dropping into the 70s. We have that dome of high pressure that's been in place that's been bringing the sunny skies. That in turn is going to start moving off towards the east and that's going to be replaced by this low pressure system. You're able to see that spin in the wind speeds. That's indicating a low pressure system is going to be moving in across the south central U.S. Eventually bringing a frontal boundary with it. I'm seeing frontal boundary and not cold front because we're not really expecting this cold front to move this far south. It might stall before it makes its way into uh, the Houston area. So we're not really going to feel the impacts of those cooler temperatures going into the next uh, few days. But what it will bring is a possibility for a few isolated showers from starting on Monday into Wednesday, looking like Tuesday and Wednesday is going to see the uh, the days that are going to have the greater amounts of rainfall in terms of scattered showers and storms. So we're going to have those afternoons uh, that are going to be a little bit more stormy going into much of this next work week with high still remaining in the 90s uh, for next week. So we're not expecting much of a cool down as we ring in the fall. The Climate Prediction Center still calling for above average temperatures. Our average high for this time of year is around 90, 91 degrees. We're still going to see 93, 94 at least for the next few days. So for your seven day forecast, high temps, low 90s, overnight lows in the 70s, isolated shower chance expected to ramp up as we head into Monday and Tuesday. That could bring us some more cloud cover and cool us off just maybe a degree or two, but we're still going to remain warm, humid, muggy conditions, just really not going away at least for the next seven days. So that's all I have for you. You can always find the latest weather forecast on KHU.com as well as on the KHU app.